that whole thing of drinking till you almost die is it, just strange. It's to because me. you pass a point where you cannot be reasonable anymore. <laughs> you can't reason with yourself that I really need to. Like, there's a point where you're saying, look, I'm feeling it right now. If I stop, I'll be all right. And if you keep going, that voice will just vanish. Do you still? You know, You'll never. No, 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 no pot, no coke, no, no. Did mm -hmm. you ever? Uh, yeah. A little bit. Back, you know. You was a maniac, dude. Back. No, nah, I really wasn't a maniac, especially like pot. Well, I no, stopped I'm, I'm smoking. I'm putting it all pot. together. Oh just yeah, well. All together, you know. Pot I used to smoke, but I stopped smoking pot like right when I got out of high school. I didn't. I wasn't a big wow. pothead. And then in the '80s. A little bit of blow here and there, but usually it was because I was selling it. Me and Joe, my brother. <laughs> Yo, so <laughs> we just we just pulled, Anthony Cumia is a piece of garbage. We you pulled just, a bunch out and put fucking baby laxative you're in. You're like and, a mild mannered citizen now. You, you're like underdog before. <laughs> Why he's shoe shine boy? <laughs> Anthony's shoe shine boy now, and he used to be underdog. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you, man. Oh, it was awful. Coke dealer, you was just a oh, mess. People banging on the door at four in the morning with a bicycle in their hand. You're like a law-abiding citizen and shit. <laughs> Damn. 